If you're watching this, you probably know the Navy runs on jets like the FA-18 Super Hornet. They've been the backbone of carrier operations for decades, but here's the cold, hard fact. They are toast. The FAXX Superfighter, the Navy's secretive sixth-generation project, is coming to end the age of the fourth-generation jet forever. I'm talking about a machine that flies invisible, commands robot drone armies, and can strike targets farther away than any fighter ever built. Today, we are going to break down the five reasons why the FAXX fighter will change naval air power completely, making every fourth-generation plane useless. Stick around, because the last point, the way this jet controls other weapons, that's the one feature that actually keeps its rivals up at night. For years, China and Russia have been showing off their new planes. They've built complex missile systems designed specifically to shoot down American aircraft. They thought they were catching up. What they didn't know is that America was already flying the future in secret. The FAXX is the Navy's side of the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, program. While the Air Force is building the F-47, the Navy needs something that can land on a pitching, moving aircraft carrier deck. A much harder task. But the core technology, the stuff that makes it a true superfighter, is the same incredible science. The simple goal of this jet is air superiority. It is built to dominate the most capable peer adversary. It's built to ensure American airmen will dominate the skies for generations to come. Let's start with the first biggest problem the FAXX solves. When you think of stealth, you probably think of the F-22 Raptor or the F-35 Lightning. Those jets are stealthy, and they were amazing when they first appeared. But the FAXX takes stealth to levels that were unimaginable just a few years ago. Think about the F-35. It was designed in the 1990s and 2000s. Back then, stealth meant making sure the jet's shape deflected radio waves coming from a radar. That works great against basic radar systems, but today's threats are much more sophisticated. Enemies use different types of sensors, not just radar, but infrared and other detection methods. The older stealth planes, like the F-35, have vulnerabilities. They might hide from the front, but what if the enemy has radar coming from the side or even from behind? The stealth doesn't work as well from all angles. Imagine trying to track a mosquito in your backyard at night using only a flashlight. That's how small the radar signature of the B-21 bomber is described. The FAXX aims for that same level of invisibility, even when carrying weapons. This new fighter has what the Air Force calls Stealth Plus. It's not just about radar invisibility anymore, it's about being invisible across the entire electromagnetic spectrum. This means enemy sensors, whether they use radar, infrared or anything else, will struggle mightily to find this aircraft. Its radar signature is so small, it registers as atmospheric noise. Its heat signature is so reduced that heat-seeking missiles lose their lock even when close. What does this mean for a fourth-gen jet, like the FA-18? It means the FA-18 is basically flying with a giant target painted on its back. A fourth-gen jet is easy to see, easy to track, and easy to shoot down by modern defense systems built by China and Russia. The FAXX, however, is like a ghost that can strike without warning. It can penetrate air defenses that would stop a Super Hornet dead in its tracks, this huge jump forward in stealth alone makes the FAXX a necessity, but even if you're a ghost, you still need to be able to reach the battlefield, and that leads to the second massive advantage of the FAXX. For Navy pilots, distance is a constant enemy. It's called the tyranny of distance. Look at the Pacific Ocean. It's massive. If a fight breaks out there, our fighter jets have to travel thousands of miles just to get to the action. Traditional fighters like the F-A-18 and even the F-35 were designed for theatres like Europe, where friendly bases are relatively close. 
The combat radius of the F-22 Raptor, which is already an amazing jet, is far too short for the Pacific. When a fighter doesn't have enough range, two bad things happen. First, you have to use risky aerial refueling operations. You send a tanker plane up and the fighter has to link up mid-air. This slows everything down and makes the whole force a target. Second, your aircraft carriers and bases have to move closer to the enemy just to get your planes within striking distance. This makes the carriers themselves more vulnerable to long-range missiles that our rivals have developed. The FAXX solves this huge distance problem. Its combat radius is more than 1,000 nautical miles. That's nearly double the range of the F-22. Imagine an FAXX taking off from a carrier that is far away from the front lines, keeping the carrier safe. The fighter can hit targets deep inside enemy territory and still return safely to base. How does it do this? Through amazing engine technology, the FAXX can fly faster than Mach 2. More than that, it can cruise at supersonic speeds without needing to use afterburners. This is called Super Cruise Cruising at Mach 1.5 or Mach 1.6, saves a massive amount of fuel compared to older jets that have to burn fuel just to maintain speed. This allows our pilots to operate from safer areas while still projecting power across huge oceanic distances. The tyranny of distance? Gone. The fourth generation jet's limited range? History. Now, let's move on to the third point. This is where the FAXX stops being just a fast, invisible jet and starts becoming a true battlefield computer. In modern combat, a fight isn't just about guns and missiles, it's about who controls the airwaves and the digital battlefield. The FAXX gives American pilots total control over the electromagnetic spectrum. A fourth-generation jet relies on older systems to detect threats. They can be easily jammed or confused. Their systems are separated, one piece for radar, one piece for communications. The FAXX is different. Its entire skin is basically a giant sensor system. This means it can create a real-time 3D digital picture of the entire battle space. It automatically catalogues and analyzes everything the enemy is transmitting. Their radar signals, their communication frequencies, everything. This jet doesn't just avoid enemy sensors, it actively messes with them. Imagine an enemy radar operator staring at their screen, trying to track a few American planes. Suddenly, the screen is flooded with dozens of fake contacts, ghost formations that don't actually exist. Or maybe the enemy missile battery gets targeting data that sends their weapons way off course. This is offensive electronic warfare dominance. The FAXX can jam enemy communications, disrupt guidance systems, and even insert false commands into enemy networks. Think about that for a second. While fourth-gen pilots are flying blind, hoping their old radar holds up, the FAXX pilot is acting like a battlefield conductor, playing the digital environment like a musical instrument. The result is that enemy forces become blind, deaf, and mute. They can't see the American jet, they can't talk to each other, and their missiles are getting faulty instructions. This capability alone guarantees that a fight between a fourth-gen plane and an FAXX is over before it even starts. But the real secret to the FAXX's power isn't just what it does alone, it's who it brings to the fight. This leads us to the fourth and possibly most significant difference. This is the part that truly sets the sixth generation apart from anything that has come before. The FAXX isn't just a fighter jet, it is the quarterback of an entire aerial team. Each FAXX will control multiple artificial intelligence-enabled drones called Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs. The Air Force plans to fly 200 of their fighters alongside 1,000 of these advanced drones, the Navy will follow a similar path. Why does this matter? Because CCAs are force multipliers. 
Picture this scenario, which would never happen with a fourth generation jet. An FAXX pilot approaches enemy airspace. The pilot has four drone wingmen. The pilot doesn't have to control each drone individually, like playing a video game. The aircraft's AI brain manages the entire formation. These drones are assigned specific roles. Two, CCAs might carry long-range air-to-air missiles, extending the striking distance of the main fighter. A third drone specializes in electronic jamming and creating digital chaos. And the fourth drone might carry ground attack bombs to hit enemy air defenses. The FAXX detects an enemy fighter at extreme range using its advanced sensors. The pilot assigns the target to one of the missile-carrying drones. Simultaneously, the jamming drone is told to turn on the electronic warfare systems. This coordination happens in milliseconds. Enemy pilots suddenly face not one aircraft, but an entire formation operating with superhuman precision and reaction times. If the enemy tries to shoot down the formation, they might hit a drone instead of the manned aircraft, protecting the pilot while still getting the mission done. The drones can act as decoys, confuse the defenses, and extend the range of the main jet's sensors. In a fight, a fourth-generation pilot is alone, relying solely on their own skills and their own missiles. An FAXX pilot has a coordinated team of five assets, all working together as a single deadly force. Traditional fighter tactics become pointless when your opponent can be simultaneously everywhere and nowhere. This drone revolution is the biggest reason why the fourth generation jet is officially dead. If you are flying a plane that fights alone, you will lose to a plane that fights with an AI-controlled swarm. If you are as excited as I am about this unbelievable display of American ingenuity, type PROUD in the comments below. Now we come to our final point. This isn't about weapons or speed, but about how the FAXX is built to survive in a world that changes faster than ever before. Look at the F-15 Eagle or the F-16 Fighting Falcon. These jets were designed in the 1970s and 80s and have been flying for 40 or 50 years. We kept them flying through constant expensive upgrades. But the problem is that our enemies are developing new weapons and technologies at a terrifying speed. China's development timeline is fast, even if they struggle with engines and operational knowledge. If we build a jet today and expect it to stay frozen in time for 50 years, we are setting ourselves up for failure. The FAXX program completely changes that thinking. It uses what aerospace engineers call a built-to-adapt design. Think about an old computer from the 1990s if you wanted to upgrade it. You had to tear it apart and replace all the internal hardware. The FAXX is designed like a modern smartphone or computer. It has an open systems architecture. This means that new systems, new sensors and even new weapons can be quickly added or swapped out using software updates and modular hardware. The Air Force's vision for the NGAD program is to buy a new plane approximately every eight years and replace the fleet every 16 years. This means the Navy's FAXX won't be locked into a single configuration for half a century. As new threats appear, the aircraft can be instantly updated and modified without needing a total redesign. Artificial intelligence, quantum computing, directed energy weapons, all these futuristic systems can be integrated as they mature. The FAXX ensures that America's technology always stays ahead of rapidly evolving threats. We won't be fighting tomorrow's wars with yesterday's hardware. The fourth-generation jets are at the end of their upgrade path. The FAXX is designed so the upgrade path never ends. This means the FAXX represents total technological dominance. It's stealthy, it's fast, it goes far, it controls the digital battlefield, and it is built to constantly get better. The FAXX Superfighter isn't just about building a single airplane. It's about maintaining American air superiority around the globe for generations to come. By committing to this expensive program, America is declaring that it will not give up control of the skies to any rival. 
It shows our allies that we remain committed to their security. And it tells our adversaries that American industry and ingenuity remain unmatched when properly focused. The age of the fourth generation fighter is officially over. They cannot compete with this level of technological superiority. The FAXX is coming to redefine naval air combat. If you are interested in seeing the other side of this story, the Air Force's incredible fighter, you need to watch the next video I made. We broke down all the secret details of the F-47, the Air Force's version of this sixth generation jet. You need to see how the competition was won and what technologies the F-47 uses to dominate every future threat. Everything I just told you about the FAXX Superfighter is absolutely worthless if you don't understand how the contract was won and what technologies that fighter shares with the F-47, I'll see you in the next one.